Hey guys, it's Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Today we're going to take a look at the Legacy Communicator, the 5 Core Ranger Edition, and Tommy Oliver Edition. Let's look at the 5 Core Rangers first. Nice window box packaging of the Communicator. It does have the yellow bands in right now because I was just recently wearing it. On the side it shows you that you can morph it into all five core rangers as well as on the back it shows the same thing on the side again on the front we get a picture of the five rangers premium die cast metal does have show accurate lights and sounds top of the box And the bottom of the box. Same thing. So let's take a look. It does have a very nice display box. Just slide the box back into the top of it. And there's your nice display. Comes with all five colors. So we'll go through the colors real quick. You got red. Two pieces each. Got pink, blue, and black. And the pieces pop in to the bands right there. They're easy to pop in and out. I mean, just push and out it goes. Like that. And to pop it back in, you do the same thing. Look at that. Very, very nice. Very show accurate. I will give you a minor problem with it, at least for me. I am have a metal allergy to certain metals, except for silver and aluminum. And it gave me a slight rash on my wrist right here from wearing it for too long. I fell asleep wearing it, but it's okay. All right, press the set button, which I believe was only in the show in season one. Got the standard communicator noise and the lights. Press it again. Here's Zordon. Teleportation noise. Standard communicator beep. Congratulations, Power Rangers, on a job well done. Again. Zordon's voice. Communicator malfunction noise. Again, you got Zordon. Teleportation. Communicator. Teleport to the command center immediately. Another Zordon. Function noise again. Ay, 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 ay. Alpha five, and that's all the sounds. But when you hold down the button, you get the theme song, like all the legacy items. It will continue to play and then stop, or you can hit the button. And it'll stop. When you let it stand for a moment, it makes another malfunction noise.
Also, if you have small wrists, like I do, you will have to get some links removed. Any standard watchmaker or jewelry store should be able to remove your links. I haven't got it done yet because I just got these like two days ago. I'm waiting for the communicator inactive noise, meaning it, you're not pressing the button anymore, you're not using it, so it makes a malfunction noise. It's not a malfunction. There it is. And that's the five. Now let's take a look at the Tommy Oliver edition. Have his name right here, Tommy Oliver edition. Same thing, noises and sounds, diecast metal. On this side, you got the Green Rangers communicator. On this side, you got the white. On the back, it shows you the contents and how to change it from green to white. And on the front of the package, you got a nice portrait of both Green and White Ranger. Let's take a look. I already have it set up for White Ranger, because personally I prefer White over Green. And there you have it. It's exact same, other than the noises are specifically Tommy related. Malfunction noise. Teleportation. Kind of a weird noise when you're wearing the white bands because Tommy had plenty of power as white. It was as green that his power was fading. Again, same thing. I'm not sure if Alpha 5 is on here or not. There's Alpha 5. And the same thing as the other one. You hold down the button, it plays the theme song. Personally, I think it would have been better if you held down the button and played, like, Go Green Ranger theme song or White T Ranger Tiger Power theme song. But there you have it. Tommy Oliver edition Legacy Communicator. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Have a nice day.